One thing virtually every e-commerce app needs is custom fields. In Venger, we ship a very lean core that doesn't include anything that's not strictly necessary because we don't know what you're building. We don't know if you're going to be selling books or clothes or software subscriptions or skateboards or specialty items and we don't care. So instead, we make it really easy for you to customize virtually every model in your application with custom fields. But there's more to it than just sticking some data on a model. Lots more, in fact. In this video, I'm going to show you how just a single line of config in Venger can save you hours or days of work. Let's go. Okay, so I've just installed a fresh Venger instance locally, and now I'm gonna start setting up my bookstore. Now books have a unique identifier known as an ISBN. So let's add a custom field to store that information. We'll give it a name, a type. We'll specify a label for displaying it in the UI. And let's use some kind of validation function to make sure the ISBN format is correct. Now, I don't necessarily advocate doing it this way in real life, but for this demo, it should work. Fingers crossed. First of all, we need to store this somewhere. So Venger has now defined a new column in the database to hold the ISBN data using the correct data type for this DB engine. So let's quickly run a migration to create that. All right then, let's inspect our API. We can see that our API has been extended so that we can now select the ISBN field from our product variants. So Venger has extended the GraphQL schema and implemented a resolver for this data. That's not all. The input objects have also been extended so that when we want to create or update a product variant, we can pass the ISBN. Not only that, our validation logic will be applied and reject any invalid updates. And how about when we query a list of product variants? What if we want to filter based on the ISBN? We can do that now. We can also sort as well. Now well, that's great and all, but our shopkeeper is a normal person and doesn't want to send and receive JSON. So what about the UI? Well, Venger's got you covered. Here's our product variant detail page. Look, we can set the ISBN. Venger took care of fetching the custom field data, creating the correct form element, and posting the value back to the API when you hit save. And what about the list view? What if I want to quickly view all the ISBN data in a list? We got you. And if I want to filter it, boom. And sort, you know it. Okay, so by my calculation, that was about two days of work that we just saved you with a single line of config. And all of this also applies for custom fields that contain numbers, dates, booleans, even lists of values. You can also have relations to other objects and entities within Venger, and also localized text for translations. So in conclusion, we did the hard work, so you can just focus on building your application.